then answer the questions zainabu saminatun jiddan zainab is very fat ta'kulu salasa wajbatin fil yawm she eats 3 meals in the day zainabu ta'kulu fil fatur as-samaka wa tashrabu al-qahwata wa ta'kulu fil ghada'i al-lahma wa tashrabu ash-shayya وَتَأْكُلُ فِي الْأَشَاءِ الدَّجَاجَةَ وَتَشْرَبُ الْحَلِيمَ زَيْنَبْ eats in the breakfast the fish and she drinks the coffee and she eats in the lunch the meat and she drinks the tea and she eats in the dinner the chicken and she drinks the milk وَزْنُ زَيْنَبَ مِيَتُ كَيْلٍ Weight of Zainab is 100 kilograms. Hal Zainabu Nahifa is Zainab sick or is Zainab skinny? Is Zainab skinny? So the answer is La Zainabu Saminatun Jiddan. La Zainabu Saminatun Jiddan. Kam wajbatan ta'kulu fil yawm? How many meals she eat in the day? Ta'kulu salasa wajbatin fil yawm? She eats three meals in the day. Maza ta'kulu wa tashrabu fil fatur? What does she eat and drinks in the breakfast? Zainabu ta'kulu fil fatur is samaka wa tashrabu kawa. In this way you write the answers. تدريب السادس سكس اكسرسايز اقرا الفكره ريد ذا باراجراف ثم اجيب عن الاسئله ذن انسر ذا كويشنز قاسم ياكل ثلاثه وجبات في اليوم قاسم ايتس 3 ميلز ان ذا دي الفطوره والغداء والعشاء ذا بريكفاست اند ذا لانش اند ذا دينر Salim yaakulu wajbatan wahidatan fil yawm. Salim eats one meal in the day. Al-ghadao which is lunch. Qasim yaakulu fil ghadai al-lahma wal-dajaja wal-samaka wal-aruzza wal-khubz. Qasim eats in the lunch the meat and the chicken and the fish and the rice and the bread. Salim yaakulu fil ghada is samaka wa salatata wal faqiyya. Salim eats in the lunch the fish and the salad and the fruit. Qasim yashrabu al maa wa salim yashrabu al shai. Qasim drinks the water and salim drinks the tea. Kam wajbatan yaakulu Qasim. How many meals does the Qasim eat? Qasim yaakulu salasa wajabatin. Kam wajbatan yaakulu salim. Salim yaakulu wajbatan wahida. Maza yaakulu Qasim fil ghada. Qasim yaakulu fil ghada in lahna wa dajaja wa samaka wa la ruza wa la khubza. In this way, you will write their answers. Then we have writing. So here you will pass your pen on these letters to improve your writing. Then you need to practice your writing skill here. So you need to remember one thing when you write that cat will touch the line, but it will not go below the line. This is too fair. Let me use this one. So you see, calf is touching the line, but it, it doesn't go below the line. In this way, you need to write it. 
then now this part will touch the line and above the line and this part will be below the line same thing for noon half below the line half above the line <laughs> in this way you are going to do it and then here again you will move your pen on these to improve your writing then you will write the words here Yeah, will touch the line, then Shah will touch the line, Ya yeah, will also touch the line, and Ya will be below the line. Shah will touch the line, and Ya yeah, will also touch the line. Then we have Laham. Laham will touch the line, Ha will touch the line, me mouth touching the line and rest part below the line. Then we have Wazan. So Wo mouth above the line touching it, Za half above, half below. Noon half above the line, half below the line. Now noon will touch the line. Wa will touch the line. Me mouth will touch the line. Rest part will be below the line. This way you will do your writing practice here. Again, you will just move your pen on these and here these all of them until here will touch the line, but they will not go below the line. But this lamb, half of it below the line. Then these two noon will touch the line, but they will not go below the line. And this one half above the line and half below the line. Atadribu Sadis, no need to do this question. Again, you will move your pen on these letters to improve your line writing. And here, you will, fa will touch the line. Touch the line. In this way, you will do it. Then here again, you will move your pen on these letters to do your writing. Then you will write them here. Fa will touch the line. Ra will be almost below the line. And moon half above the line and half below the line. Tafalu. Ta will touch the line. Fa will touch the line. Ain will touch the line. And Lam half below the line. Kohava. Mouth will touch the line. Ha half below the line and half above the line. Wow, mouth touching the line and Tam or Bhuta will just touch the line. Then we have Nakkara. Noon will touch the line. Kaf will touch the line. Ra below the line. Ramza will touch the line like this. In this way, you will practice this writing here. Again, you will move your pen on this. You will pass your pen on. You will pass the pen on this to improve your writing. You can skip question number six and seven and eight. Nine also skip it. 
الوحدتلو سادس سکی So here we have unit five vocabulary. You need to write the meaning of all these words on your notebook. So this is also your homework. Al Wahda to Sadi Sa Salah. Mustafa Aina to Salis Salawat al Khams. Where do you pray the five prayers? Kusay, usalli zuhura wal asra wal maghriba wal isha'a fi masjidi mula. I pray the zuhur and asr and maghrib and isha'a in the masjidi bilal. Mustafa, wa aina tusalli al fajr. And where do you pray the fajr? Kusay, usalli al fajr fi al bayt. I pray the fajr at home. Mustafa, Nimaza to Salil Fajra fil Bait. Why do you pray the Fajr at home? Kusai La Asmaul Azan. I don't hear the Azan. Mustafa Al Tastaikizu Mutaakhira. Do you wake up late? Kusai Nam, yes. Bada Salat al Fajr after Salat al Fajr. Mustafa Istaikiz Mubakira. Wake up early. Kusai. La astati. Amalu fil layl. I can't. I work at night. Mustafa. Da il munabbiha bijanibik. Put the alarm clock beside you. Kusai. Hazihi fikratun tayiba. This is a nice idea. Jazakallahu khaira. May Allah reward you with goodness. So you will write their vocabulary here. You can take help from the dictionary as well. Then you will answer this question. What are the five salah? So the answer is As-salawat al-khams iya al-zuhur asr maghri visha. Then Maza yusalli kusayi fi masjid bilal. What does kusayi pray in masjid bilal? So we can say kusayi yusalli. Kusayi yusalli. Usalli mean I pray. Yusalli mean he pray. So we are saying kusayi yusalli zuhura wal asra wal maghriba wal isha fi masjid bilal. Maza yusalli fil bayt. What does he pray at home? Kusayi yusalli. Yusalli al fajra fil bayt. Limaza yusalli al fajra fil bayt. Why does he pray fajr at home? Liannahu la yasmau lazan. Asmau mean I hear. Yasmau he hears. So you say liannahu. لا يسمع الأذان. In this way, you are going to write the answers here. Isam, Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. Sallallahu alaikum wasallam and peace be upon you too. Isam, أنا مسافر إلى مكة. I am traveling to مكة. إلى أين أنت مسافر? Where are you traveling to? Sallallahu Ana musafirun ila al-Madina. I am traveling to Madina. Limaza anta musafirun ila Makkah. Why are you traveling to Makkah? Lis salati fil masjid al-haram. To pray in masjid al-haram. Wa limaza anta musafirun ila al-Madina. And why are you traveling to Madina? Lis salati fil masjid al-Nabawi. To pray in Prophet Mosque. Aina satu salil juma. Where do you pray Friday? Salam. Fil Masjid al Haram. Inshallah in Masjid al Haram. Wa aina satu salil juma. And where will you pray juma? Fil Masjid al Nabawi. Inshallah in the Prophet Mosque if Allah wills. Kaifa satu safiru al Madina. How will you travel to Madina? Arkabut Ta'ira. 
I will write the aeroplane. So here again, you are going to write the vocabulary here. Then you will answer these questions. Man sayusa firu ila Makkah. Who will travel to Makkah? Here you can write any name here. Isam sayusa firu ila Makkah. So Isam sayusa firu ila Makkah. Man sayusa firu ila Madina. Again, you will just write Sale sayusa firu ila Madina. Man sayusalli fil masjid al haram. Isam sayusalli fil masjid al haram. Man sayusalli fil masjid al nabawi. Saleh sayusalli fil masjid al haram. Ain al masjid al haram. Where is masjid al haram? Masjid al haram fil Makkah. In this way, you will do it. Next time, inshallah, I will start this one. For the homework, you will go to Google Classroom and you can here I don't think so I will have this one so I will use other account So for homework, I recommend you to use either homework number 13 or 12, whatever you feel better. You can use any of them, okay? So it is 48 lesson. So here, no, it is 48. So 48, I think this one will be better. Homework number 14, I recommend you to submit your homework here. If you have any question, feel free to ask me on WhatsApp or in the comments. Ma